Hi, this is Dr. Nikki, and we're back talking about fluency in kindergarten again. So we're going to look at some more strategies in this video. All right, we are back talking about fluency in kindergarten. And um, remember, fluency is through five. If this is video two, the first video we talked a lot about number frames. And this video, we're going to talk about some other strategies. One is flashcards. Have flashcards through five out at centers and do it in guided math groups where the kids have to build the flashcard. So you're not just doing the flashcards, but kids are building the flashcard. Oh, this is one and this is two, one and two, that makes three. So you're really working on counting and cardinality um, with the flashcards. So I do flashcard math a lot with the kids where they have to build a number. The next thing I do is domino parking lot and domino parking lot, you can get um actual parking lot off of math wire, um, but I just make it into like a parking lot and then what the kids have to do is they turn over the dominoes and then they put the cars where they go. So I make it kind of look like a car track and so this is two plus three, it's five. Mm, two plus two is four. Mm, you know, they're little kids so they make sound effects. Mm, the car drives into the, the place and so that's what, uh, that's domino parking lot. It is simple, it is easy, but it gets um, children working on fluency through five. So you definitely want them doing some kind of domino parking lot activities. Now, the next thing I do is I, I love this. Um, I, have, I just take a sheet protector and put a pipe cleaner in it and then we play, um, you know, we don't, it's not playing really, but we're just, we work with um, counters. And they say, oh, I say, oh, show me um, five with two plus three. Or I say, show me five with three plus two, you know, two plus three, or with three plus two, or show me five with four plus one. Oh, show me five another way, and then they have to show me a different way than this way. And so I might have this, and then the kids have their own, and they'll say, okay, well, here's another way to show you five, and they'll show me this, right? So or I'll say, show me five, and have a zero in it, you know? So this is just fun, and it's just a way to get kids to look at both add-ins to make five. Now, one of the other things I do is we play with the dominoes. I print out paper dominoes, and with those paper dominoes, um, what they do is they have to count. It's good because it has the pips, and that's the same with the, the physical domino. It has the pips so the students can count one, two, three, four, five, and they turn it over and they see oh, well, that was five. Or here's another one. They don't all add up to five. I mean, some of them are, you know, two plus two is four, and this one happens to be five plus zero. And so um, just using the paper dominoes as kind of flash cards. And then using, I love these little miniature domino um, cards. You can get them off Oriental Trading Company, and the kids love them. They're perfect size for the kids' little hands. And um, what they do is they pick a card, and then they have to say, how many more? I have three, what card do I need to make five? And oftentimes I'll give them a number line and so they can look at the number line and say, well, I'm at three, I'm gonna need a two to get five. I'm looking for a two. And they either, it's like a go fish game. They have to find the card that's gonna make five or they have to, they pull and they see if they can get the card to make five. Or they pull another card, they pull four. And I say, ah, you're at four. How many do you need to get to five? You need one more. Okay, so let's say you're, they know that the ace is one, and so they go, ah, oh, I made five. So it's just another way to play a card game, making five, right? And if they pull the joker, they can make the joker any, um, any number that they want. Another thing that I do is I do Number bracelets. I love this idea. On Pinterest, they have a couple of different places where they're doing number bracelets. And what you do is you just make a bracelet out of pipe cleaner and pony beads. And then you tell the kids, oh, Susie went to the store and she bought one piece of candy and then her mother gave her two more. How many does she have? She has three. Or Susie was 
uh, at home and her mother baked five cupcakes and she gave one to her friend. How many does she have left? She has four. So you just use number bracelets to tell stories. And you don't even have to tell stories. You could just do facts. Oh, I want to make five and I already have two. How many more do I need? Right. I want to make five and I already have four. How many more do I need? Right. So it's a bodily kinesthetic activity. And finally, I use game boards. I make up these game boards and, you know, if you buy the um, fluency kit, you'll get one. So now the game boards have spinners and they spin and you either can move one or two. So I'm moving one this time and I have my little counter at the start. I move one, four plus zero. I have to say how much it is. Four plus zero is four. Okay. And then my friend spins. My friend gets to move one, um, one and um, let's see. My friend moves one and she got four plus zero, but she, and she has to say what the answer is four plus zero is four, right? And so then I spin again. This time I got one. You're only moving one or two, right? And you're saying what the facts are. So that sums to five because all of these expressions are within five, okay? And then there's another game and this is the difference game. It's the same setup. You have two people and we're gonna switch characters and they spin and I landed on two so I get to move two, one, two, one take away one is zero, okay? Then my friend spins, let's see, and he landed on one actually and four minus zero is four, okay? So you have to move, you add, um, no, you don't add, you're subtracting and each spot you land on until whoever finishes first wins. These are just simple game boards, ways to get kids to build fluency within five. And so um, you want to play games. Um, at Columbia right now they're talking about this idea of gamification, right? Gamification is taking a big kind of um, presence in primary grades. This idea that through games children can really learn a lot and stay engaged and engage in standards-based activities. As always, happy mathing.